Oh, what's this? Oh, a little first dot shop paraphernalia. Anyone would think that I was sponsored, <laughs> but I'm not. Yo, what's up guys? Jason Ma, the Magician, and welcome back to this channel. Now, I've been a magician for a heck of a long time, and part of being a magician is solving problems. In fact, that's pretty much what magic tricks are. A problem happens, and then some stuff, and then the solution. <laughs> that's pretty much the bare bones of it anyway. So, I like to think that my brain is pretty attuned to solving and figuring out things that maybe most people can't. Uh, but then again, I could just be full of shit. <laughs> but to test myself, I actually ordered a puzzle online from none other than the puzzle man himself, Christopher Ramsey. That's right, Chris Ramsey 52 released a puzzle some time ago and I finally got my hands on it. I placed an order and then the package arrived and inside of the package was a keychain. Which is not what I ordered, this was actually, they sent me the wrong thing, which was kind of... <sighs> anyway, after typing in a well thought out and polite email, I ended up getting the issue resolved. Not only did I get to keep the keychain, but I also received the puzzle! <laughs> Here it is! The puzzle! <laughs> the puzzle! <laughs> Now, if I break into this box, we should be able to see the puzzle. Look at that. Look at that, man. Alright, so here it is, the Haniyama puzzle, baby. It's beautiful. Uh, nice piece of kit, if I do say so myself. Now I have two cameras set up. I have one over here as well, you see, so you can see what I see, but also you'll be able to see uh, what someone sitting across from me would see, I suppose. I'll edit between the two when it's appropriate. <laughs> and uh, of course I've got this, a little timer. <laughs> and it begins. So straight away I can see these little groovy bits there. Uh, you can see little grooves, let me show you the good camera here. Little grooves that I have to navigate this golden uh, circle through. And the golden circle is kind of like one of those nose rings that girls with unique personalities have. <laughs> Don't cancel me. But the pins inside of it are uneven. I imagine that's going to play a pretty important role. So firstly, I guess I'm just going to try and go through here. So far so good. Uh, I guess I could just turn it around, right? Turn it around this way, maybe that's something. And then yeah, it goes through there, and then... It feels like it doesn't fit through this little bit here. So like, you know, this is a big hole, this is a big hole. This one is like a tiny little hole. And it feels like it doesn't fit at all, actually. Maybe I can angle it in a way. Ooh, Ooh there you go. Okay, so you can kind of like angle it through. So now what? Does it fit here? Oh, there's a little couple of grooves there. Can I fit it in there? I don't think so. Maybe I can't fit it there, can I? Oh, it fits. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then you go over here. And then there's some more grooves here, so I guess I'll follow this through. Oh, sweet! And then it looks like it fits through here as well, so maybe I can go straight through here. And then... Hmm, why do I feel like I've gone backwards? <laughs> I feel like... I feel like I'm back at the start almost, exactly where I was two seconds ago. Maybe I'm not supposed to go through this, maybe this is not right. So... Hmm... Okay, this is what I'm thinking. I get the feeling that I'm supposed to rotate this thing around again... And fit it through there. There's like one groove here, but there's not like... And then they're like here as well, but they don't... They kind of don't like fit. Like it doesn't like fit through this way, see? It's like I can get one through. Oh! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, I got it off. <laughs> Yay! Look at that, I got the pieces off. Look, uh, you know, I guess it, like you said, it doesn't count as a full solve until I put it back on. I'm not sure how the heck that came off though, that just sort of fell off. Crap, now I've got to put it back on and I don't know exactly how it came off. So the only thing I did notice is that it fell like over this, right? So maybe I'm supposed to go back on over this, maybe? How do I... 
But the, the teethy bits don't fit on here, look. It's like they don't quite fit. And then, oh. Oh, okay, I get it now. Okay, so like one half goes over and then you've got to slide down and then the other half will then go over. So that's, okay, so that's pretty clever. I like that, that's pretty sick. And then I guess, I think I went through and turned it around. And then I believe I went this way, right? Because I remember going through that. And then, is it through here? Maybe? Through here? Yeah, baby. Look at that, I'm a genius. Um, so it needs to be like up here though, so for it to be solved. So I can't go that way. And yeah, I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of stuck. Let's go here. It doesn't fit this way either. So I guess what I need to try and do is figure out how I'm gonna get it up here, but also this needs to, like these little, this little bit needs to be on this side, I think. So maybe if I go, it should fit through. It feels like this is engineered so well that it only fits through this little one, like one way. And then I guess I can go through here, right? Can I? Not quite, it's not quite fitting, see? Like, it feels like it should, but it won't. Why is that? The teeth are lining up perfectly there. Hmm, maybe it's just this. Ah, there we go. Okay, so you've actually got to bring the loop over this in order for it to fit through. That's very interesting. And then I think from here it goes up here and then through here. I think this is it, right? Maybe it doesn't count until it's in there. But have I gone somewhere wrong? Yeah, I think I might have gone the wrong direction somehow because these teeth aren't facing the right way. Look, can you see that in there? So the grooves, the grooves, like if this is top and that's bottom, the other side is top and then bottom for the groove. So it's not like fitting in. Oh wait, no, I'm just spastic. No, I fixed it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I solved it. <laughs> yeah, baby. Five minutes and 32 seconds. Let me hit stop on that. That's pretty good. That's five minutes and 34 seconds to solve. The Chris Rams, the Puzzle Master's Puzzle. Oh yeah, baby! And let me just quickly make note, uh, this thing is extremely satisfying. I don't know that it's the most difficult puzzle, but it is, uh, it is very satisfying to do. It's something about the way that it all fits together so beautifully that just feels great. And solving it feels like a real accomplishment. So hats off to Chris for releasing this product because it is quite nice and I'm glad that I own it. And now that I've solved it, I feel like a real genius. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I guess the next video I'm gonna be making is a magic performance video and then I'll be following that with a magic tutorial video. The two aren't related, I'll be performing something. Whatever, see you later guys. <laughs> Enchanté.